How's it going everybody? Welcome to the next episode. What we're going to do today is we are going to go over the exhaust uh, install. Now when we say exhaust install we're talking about everything that happens with the elbows and whatnot. So we've got these little rubber couplings, we've got our worm clamps, we've got the metal elbows. This is in my opinion one of the most frustrating parts of the install or removal depending on how uh, or what part of the process you're in very frustrating because there's not a lot of room back there to begin with and getting these installed and removed is just a pain in the butt so let's talk about the install and then as we're installing it I will also show you the trick to getting them removed it's basically uh, very simple but if you don't catch it, it's going to be a pain. So take a look here. See this rubber coupling? It looks like from the outside it's just a rubber coupling. But there is a wrong way to install this in a right way. If you notice, we have two inches here. And then we've got like four inches right there. Big difference. One goes one way. The other one goes a different way. So here's the trick. This elbow as seen on the motor, it goes like that. If it was installed, it would go something like that. So this part goes to the top of the motor by where the carburetors, that way goes down to the bottom of the boat. Notice how we only have a small section here. That would mean that this section goes here. What you wanna do first is get your worm clamps ready and kind of pre-install them a little bit. Also coat, you notice there's some a uh, little bit of uh, gloss around here, that's shampoo, or you can use some type of um, lubricant around here to kind of make it easier to get it installed around this metal elbow. Also, we've got two different types of worm clamps. We've got eight of the 144 millimeter worm clamps. Those are the bigger ones. And then we've got the smaller ones here. The larger of the worm clamps at least on the volvo penta i forgot on the omc if they're all the same i think they may be but on the volvo penta at least in the five liter double check they may be different sizes the larger ones they go on these couplings that go towards the motor manifold the smaller ones which i believe these are like 114s they go on these bottom pieces the ones that look like little donuts so just remember larger ones go on this Smaller ones go on the one that looks like a donut. All right. The other thing, like I said, is make sure the smaller end goes in here. And it has some a little bit of corrosion, so it kind of helps you remember that. So let's do this first. Let's go ahead and pre-position some of the worm clamps in place. And what we'll do then is install it as it's supposed to on this elbow. Another thing to note, notice I have them both lined up directly on top of each other like that. That's important too, as you go to install it, you wanna make sure they're even. For example, like that is, is not acceptable. So you wanna keep them both together like such. Okay, so notice here we have, I actually already tightened these down because you can install this elbow as such with them already tightened down. So why not do it here? Cause it's easier to get to. This is this is going to be um, the best way to do it. The other ones that you want to kind of leave loose, but we're going to install them. And this is the the larger ones, the 144 millimeters as well. We're going to try to line it up just like that one is. And we're not going to tighten them all the way up, but we are going to make them a little snug so they don't roll around on us. Just a little bit. Like this one, that one's good. This one's a little too loose. Okay, so you can see they're both within um, the same amount of tolerance. So this pipe, this elbow is good to go. Let's go grab one of these little guys now. And we're going to move to the smaller ones, the 114s. And that's the up position, so we'll flip it over temporarily. And you got to remember, too, as you're installing this in the boat, you want to install these in a manner where... You can get to them too. So let's go ahead and pre-tighten these up 
just a little bit. Okay, so they're both relatively around the same area here. Let's go ahead and take some soap, coat the insides here, maybe the other side as well, more soap. Okay, and let's flip it where it says up right here. And make sure when you're installing these, you have access to these worm clamps. If you put this around backwards, oh, you're going to be so mad. And then make sure it says up. All right, so let's go ahead and flip around to the motor. Okay, so here's the part we just created there. And here is your first part. So it is, if you're removing everything for the first time, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and push this all the way down just like we did. So remember that to be your first step. Push the piece that looks like a donut all the way down. Okay. And then that's the same process to remove as it is to install. Really simple. If you have a flapper in there, now is your chance to remove it. I do have a video on how to reinstall a flapper if you want. All the consensus uh, or the consensus now states that everyone should remove it. You can install a new one if you want. I got a video, but you're going to see me currently recommend uh, to take it out. So this kind of helps with the flow, but it's designed to keep salt water from flowing back into the motor. That's the whole idea, but it ends up clogging it up more than not. You saw in my original video, it just creates a bunch of clogs. So anyway, let's go ahead now and install the top piece. I'm going to coat up here a little bit with some soap. Just kind of make it probably not going to get enough in here. All right. And we'll coat in the fitting as well. You can't see that. It's kind of off camera. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's see if we can slide this in here. Ta-da! And take a look, all of our worm clamps are accessible. Try to plan that out the best you can. Notice it bottoms out all the way against this flange. If you don't have this same type of scenario happen where this rubber bottoms out here, you installed the rubber coupling backwards. All right. The next thing you're going to want to do is, because there's soap on here, oh, here you go. Either way, you're going to have to rotate it. And let's see if I can do this. All right. Took two hands to get in there. But you see what I mean? We rotate it all the way up to where you don't see any the corrosion. If you clean yours off, it's going to be kind of tough. But that's pretty much how you can tell. It goes all the way to the top there. And like I said, you should have access to all your worm clamps as well, all the way down. Let's go ahead and tighten a few. Okay. Got them all tightened up. Now, it's highly likely when you start this thing up for the first time, you're going to see leaks coming out of here. If you do, don't panic. Just go under here and try to re-tighten these worm clamps up and see if the leak stops. If the leak doesn't stop, then you may need to go and readjust this a little bit. Perhaps it may need to come down or it may need to come up a little bit. This has little stops in it. Well, no, actually it does, but it's not enough to catch. Like see, you see it has, it has a little rib here. If yours are original, like this one is, you're likely going to pass right through that. So it's going to be kind of tough to gauge, at least with the bottom one, exactly where, like you can see down there, this one is definitely, and that's all because of the flapper, by the way. When that flapper started giving out, it threw a lot of mess all over the place on this one. You could technically replace it. I'll watch it. You know, since the flapper's removed, over time, all this stuff will wash out anyway. So it's not the worst. It's not compromised by any means. It's still 
very sound but anyway you can see this is supposed to sit roughly about where the, the lip is near towards the bottom so you may have to adjust it a little bit depending on your situation but all in all if you do see any leaks it'll happen right down here and just go under there and retighten it all right that's pretty much going to do it for this video just repeat it for the other side make sure you go through and double check all your worm clamps i've left a few um loose on accident a few times myself and you'll know it real quick when you start it up it's not the end of the world so just take your time and uh, don't feel like you need to over tighten these too much just snug them up real good and they'll hold just fine you doubled up on all the joints anyway as always hope you liked the video subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel hit that like video or like um button if you thought the video was helpful and leave me some comments let me know what's going on have a good one everybody catch you on the next episode